Hey guys, today I'll show you how to perform a missed approach on a circling approach. This type of missed approach is typically confusing for students as they are not always sure how and what procedure to follow in the different stages of the approach, if indeed they have to go missed. We are currently on the r 916 approach and intend to circle for runway 25 right in Daytona Beach. Looking at the plate for the r 916 our MDA for the circling approach is 660 feet, which is published in a NOTAM due to cranes in the vicinity of the runway. We can also see the black box with the letter C in it. That means that the circling maneuver uses expanded circling radius as stated in the TPP legend. The missed approach procedure will have us climb to 1,700 feet direct to Kessler and hold there. The missed approach splits into two phases during the approach. First of all, if you descend to the MDA and you don't see the runway, you go missed in the same way that you would have gone if you were not doing the circling approach. In this case, we will climb to 1,700 feet and fly direct Kessler. The second option is if you see the runway, you're going to start the circling maneuver and sometimes during the circling maneuver, you lost visual contact with the runway. In this situation, you would declare a missed approach, turn towards the middle of the airport, which is obviously clear of major obstacles, and rejoin the original missed approach procedure. Once again, climb 1,700 feet to Kessler. That's how you go missed on a circling approach. I've also made an entire video on missed approaches in general, and a video about circling approaches. I'll link them both in the description below. See you guys next time.